In this next section, we will look at other issues that need to be further evaluated. Other pyrolysis vendors have claimed that uh, you could use the vitrified mass from their plasma arc technologies as building material or as aggregate uh, for different applications. But I have yet to see a commercially viable application of the um, vitrified residues from the pyrolysis systems. Another important issue is energy use. Pyrolysis vendors have claimed that you could use their technologies for energy generation. Uh, but as I mentioned, uh, pyrolysis reactions are endothermic reactions, which means that they require energy to, to be sustained. There are other issues, uh, engineering issues, that need to be evaluated. My own studies of pyrolysis systems in the 1990s showed a whole host of engineering issues. For example, we had problems with the corrosion of the refractories as a result of the acid gases and high temperatures. There were problems with the erosion of the plasma arc torches or the electrodes, problems with the leakage of gas. There were problems in the transfer of the heat from the plasma to the waste itself. Um, we saw problems in the waste feed system, some power quality issues, electromagnetic interference, uh, problems with the inefficiency of the glass cleaning systems, problems with the control and monitoring systems of these high temperature technologies, and on and on. Safety is another area of consideration. In 1998, for example, a state-of-the-art pyrolysis plant in Fürth, Germany, processing municipal solid waste, suffered a major failure resulting in the release of pyrolysis gas into the air. Some residents in the surrounding community were brought to the hospital for observation. Siemens, the engineering firm that installed the plant, withdrew from the market after this accident. With certain types of gasifiers or pyrolysis systems, there is a possibility of explosions as a result of leakage of combustible gases, or if the treatment chamber is not designed to, to handle a sudden large amount of flammable liquids, the possibility of explosion or the possibility of a steam explosion. Corrosion, tar contamination of generators, and fuel blockages are examples of other engineering issues of concern. Last but not least is the issue of cost. The Department of Defense studies I mentioned earlier estimated a capital cost for the plasma pyrolysis system to be uh, equal to or uh, greater than the cost of a state-of-the-art incinerator. They also estimated that the um, um, maintenance and operational costs would be 15 to 20 percent higher than that for an incinerator. For a decade now, many pyrolysis and gasification vendors have claimed to be a magic solution to all our problems. In view of all the issues that I have outlined, uh, these technologies may not at all be what they promise.